Hi everyone, this is an extreme clean of my kitchen. Um, it was an absolute tip. Um, we had three or four days of just not doing any cleaning. I wasn't very well. Um, so yeah, basically it is an extreme clean. There is tidying, there is um, putting away um, dishes, there's wiping down all the surfaces, the floors. Um, so yeah, it was a real kind of um, tackling a massive mess. And I hope that this uh, kind of video gives you motivation to clean your own kitchen if you've let it get into such a state. Um, I doubt it because it was really bad. <laughs> See, the mess is just ridiculous. There are so many dishes it's just gross um the pantry's open um amir's little kitchen in the corner there is just a complete mess as well um here it is all her stuff's been pulled out um the surface is just covered in clutter where we've just come in there's laundry um to be done so yeah so to start with um i am going to clean the cat bowls because it is the morning um and they will need breakfast so the first thing i'm going to do is really give these a good clean um there is dried on cat food on here so this actually did take quite a while um to really get the cat bowls clean and the frame as well um so i'm going to start by doing that So I am just going to start by soaking all of these many, many dishes. Um, so I'm just cleaning, giving the sink a little clean and I'm just going to pop all of these dishes in the sink for a soak um, so that the surfaces are clear. So you will have seen just then, um, I was emptying the dishwasher because it was full of clean dishes um, and just putting all of that away. Um, so one of the things I like to do is get my toddler involved uh, with tasks around the house. Uh, and something she likes to help with is putting cutlery away. Um, obviously I am supervising her the whole time, um, but she is really good and I know I can trust her with all the cutlery. Um, but yeah, so she will just put it all away like this um, and she loves doing it and it just means that she's also involved at the same time.
So as I was just loading up the dishwasher with all the soaked dishes, um, little man demanded my attention. Um, he was in the swing and he just wanted a little cuddle. So here he is. So I'm just giving the sink a really good clean now. Um, so I'm using this sponge. It's like a double-sided sponge that one of my friends actually got me. Um, and it's got like a soft um, side that can really sort of um, dry off the surfaces uh, and a more um, intense sort of scrubby side. So now that I have cleared all the clutter off the surfaces, um, as I mentioned before, there was just tons and tons of clutter that has just collected over the few days where we've just come in, put things down. Um, you had some of Amir's toys, Amir's paint set that I cleaned up and didn't put away. Um, just loads and loads of bags, plastic bags, and just random bits that just had to go back around the house. So um, I've cleared all of that. Um, now to wipe down the surfaces, I'm using um, the Marigold Cloth and Method Cleaner. Um, they are really great.
So I'm just <clears throat> getting rid of those dead flowers. Um, really grim. <laughs> it's been there for ages. Um, and that is my toddler just changing the camera angle. Um, and I left it in because I wanted to show you that this is real life. Um, so I'm just cleaning out this really, really disgusting um, dead flower vase. Um, so I'm just going to fill this up and leave it to soak um, whilst I deal with the windowsill, um, which is actually just covered in dead leaves um, and a few dead bugs. So I'm just taking everything off and I'm just going to give it a quick vacuum um, just to get rid of um, most of the debris. I then realised that the vacuum needed emptying, so that's what I'm doing here now. Um, so once I've done that, um, I am then going to go ahead and just wipe down the windowsill itself um, and just um, give it a good spray um, and then put back only what needs to be um, put back. <laughs> To disinfect the sink I'm just using a cap full of Zaflora um, this was actually recommended to me by a friend um, and I will link her Instagram page below um, she has a home account that you should definitely follow um, so yeah I'm just using some um, Zaflora and I'm just gonna add some boiling water in here um, just to help disinfect the sink and now I am just tidying away my toddler's kitchen as well and just getting everything put away. Um, so then uh, the laundry, as I mentioned before, needed to be sorted. So uh, I'm just emptying the tumble dryer, um, getting rid of that. Uh, and then this was all a load of baby clothes that had been washed. Um, so I'm going to just put that all in a basket to hang out to dry. We do air dry our baby clothes um, just because we find that they shrink. Um, as I did this I found that some of them hadn't washed properly so I'm just putting some of that back as you can see uh, so a little bit annoying but needs to be done and then just going to fill up the washing machine with um, any extra clothes that still need to be washed that can be washed with that cycle um, and then I'm just going to turn that on <laughs> time we got to this bit it is now lunch time so I'm just making my toddler um, some lunch on the stove there um, so it's now time to do the floors so I was just lifting up um, all the stools and chairs um, off of the floor so that it is um, free for me to do that um, so I'm going to start by just sweeping up um, all the loose debris I find that sweeping is so much easier than vacuuming um, so that's just what I tend to do um, I'm then going to use uh, my spray mop um, it's called the add this spray mop it's available on Amazon um, and I love this thing and I'm just going to use this to then mop all the floors as well
now I'm just going to clean my stove. Um, so the first thing I do is just remove the um, top part, obviously, um, and I'm going to use my method cleaner um, to disinfect it um, and just get rid of um, the main crumbs. I use a paper towel to do this just because there are always so, with so much food that just needs to be gathered up, scooped and put straight in the bin. Um, I will then use this um, stainless steel um, cleaner, which I just got from Tesco, um, to just make sure it hasn't got a smear um, on the finish um, and this gives it a really nice smear free finish um, and I'm going to use my marigold cloth again to do that. By the time I had finished cleaning the kitchen, the dishwasher was done with all those dishes from the start. Um, so I'm now just going to put all of these away um, and just get the kitchen completely ready for a new cycle. <laughs> is the kitchen complete um, it is so much better in here as you can see um, everything is squeaky clean um, I feel like I am never gonna let it get to that state again because it was just so difficult and took so long to do um, but I hope this gives you guys motivation to clean your kitchen too